We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. <laughs> What the hell was that all about? Hmm, unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. Christmas saved! Santa pronounced dead at the scene. He's not dead, just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Hey, Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, what you've got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless... It was summoned by T-H-E-M. Who summoned the triangle here? I told you! T-H-E-M! I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming! Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the Triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden, explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys! They're coming for us! I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape, and I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids in a Y2K scare. How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do we communicate with the triangle? They're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And sibyls, apparently. Those two. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time, the store is closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. 
You can't close the store, Bosco. Everything we value was bought or shoplifted from here. Don't you see? The end is nigh! Nigh? Yes, nigh! Wandering Bermuda Triangles, strange radio transmissions. Don't you see? It's T-H-E-M! They're coming! I have to relocate before it's too late! Where are you planning to go? Oh, you'd like me to tell you where my emergency bunker is. No chance. You'll have to stop goofing off and build your own. It's just like the fable of the grasshopper and the ant. If the ant were a paranoid lunatic. And the grasshoppers too, come to think of it. Keep watching the skies, Bosco. Always! Max Impeachment Weekly, Volumes 14, 15, and 16. Volume 17 comes out next week! You can't tell where all these shots were taken from. Bet ya I don't care. Hey Max, remember Benang, the painfully strong banana flavored drink mix? Sure, it's been off the market for 10 years and I still can't get it out of my mind. Or my kidneys. Get your paws off that. It's all for the secret bunker. Hey, Bosco, why do you need a periscope? I don't. As long as this store stays above water. Why wouldn't it? Never you mind about that. And if we start to dive, don't let the pressure doors hit you on the way out. spot. Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa. Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired. Went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So, are you two going to order anything? A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialize in the more circular, interdimensional portals. Some expert! Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. What's the special today? It's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. We're ready to order. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray.
Bye, Stinky. Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm doing surveillance. Oh boy, real detective work! Who are you spying on? Some mug, name of Bosco. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. There's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil Mike? Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling! I'll save you! As I was saying, there's another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam! God, I hope not. than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui! The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Whoa, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. What exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then a terrible cataclysm. 
the great volcano god Rana Kao would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. What do you want us to do? You must stop Rana Kao from erupting and destroying us all. Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Deadbeat really is the universal language. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod, followed by the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? Oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. Who are you guys, anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Come on, blow us up a typhoon. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your stone slabs together and blow. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just right with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. What's the deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing! It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. I'm just the way the carvers made me. What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> oh yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. 
I never wish that about anything! The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. Look at all this junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the Twenty Commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true! Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans. Live and learn. How's the vacation going? Oh, the weather's perfect. And there's so much history and culture. The best part is that Abe and I finally get some time all to ourselves. With no distractions. Isn't that right, Abe? Abe? What? Oh yeah, right. Culture. Have you met any of the locals? Not yet. I wanted to explore more of the island, but Abe wanted to stay here. The view's so much nicer here. Uh, of the ocean, I mean. Did you know that the native language has over 50 words for boredom? I'm not bored. Surrounded by such beauty. Oh, Abe. Just between the four of us, those Moai statues are real jerks. Now you just shut your mouth. Abe, I agree, Sam. They're all so sullen and moody. Right, because you're never moody. I wish these Moai guys would stop being so depressing. I've seen teenagers stuffed in lockers who are less emo than these guys. You're just too shallow to understand them. The volcano's going to erupt in a deadly rain of fiery magma. Aren't you worried? Are you sure you're a dog? Because you sound like a big chicken. Oh, be nice, Abe. Well, if it looks like the volcano's going to blow, we'll just hop back through the triangle. Have fun, kids. Don't wait up. <laughs> so long, you two. Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tyke belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. You should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac! You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it! I can't believe how perfect he is! You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does! Yes, he does! A little bit. A little bit. Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problems, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. He's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. 
I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs! Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here! We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal.